What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, today is a semi-statue display update. Wanted to show you guys a few things. I've been doing a lot of different work lately. I'm gonna do a bigger one tomorrow. Today I'm just showing you the movie statue room. Tomorrow is the home theater room. I'm still finishing it up and I wanna finish it before I show it to you. But here we've been making some strides. Uh, so I went ahead and moved the Star Wars out so I can still get the Mosasaurus and the Indominus Rex, boom, boom. Likely the Mosasaurus there, Indominus Rex there, because I really do want to get those. I don't want to cancel them. So I moved Star Wars out and I have plans on where to put that, which I'll show you guys tomorrow in a way where I can still get Vader bust. And I'm going to go ahead and display for right now the one tenth, <clears throat> one tenth scales right here. And I actually finished off the Guardians of the Galaxy and changed out Hawkeye. Uh, as you can see, you can see all the guardians right there and i changed out the hawkeye uh we've returned the raptor bus here I, I didn't like it middle room i felt like you couldn't see half the stuff in the room because of how big it is where it's here i could push it back it doesn't block anything and it still looks really good of course has amazing presence but the jurassic world poster there i previously had the t-rex bus there i'm trying a few different things uh so uh, I'm just going to keep that there for right now. I may return the T-Rex bust. And uh, we put the remaining one-tenth scales here. I'm trying to remove the one-tenths from under the TV and do something else. Uh, so I still have the backdrops, and we actually did it in order in essence. So we have Ghost Rider and then just Hela. Uh, Hela happened right before Infinity War Battle. And I did have the other members, but I decided to remove them as a little cluttered. Uh, but this looks good, where you got Thanos fighting against those four. Uh, then you have a little Vormir scene, just a little one. And then you go directly into the end game, uh, Black Order with Captain. And that looks really good. And the one tents actually look really good up high like this. I feel like you can see their faces better. And because they're such tiny statues, you know, like 7 to 13, 14 inches, uh, they do look really good up high. Uh, so I can see them all quite well. You know, I have lighting up there. I got the backdrops and then the giant battle diorama does look awesome there. Although for the battle diorama, I feel like this is something you really want to get close and personal. So anytime I want to look at this like good, I really just got to sit right in front of it and look at it. But you know, from a back angle, it definitely looks really cool. Uh, like I said, I'm, tr I'm trying a lot of different things. So I'm trying Jack Sparrow here instead of Troy. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Uh, you know, I, th I still think it looks awesome. Uh, and the bases fit perfect on that little uh, pedestal there. So over here for Justice League, I'm trying a few different things. Uh, I rearranged some of the posters, uh, put that one there that was above my TV. Uh, trying to do the entire league right here, although I can still fit one to two more. What I'm actually thinking would probably look the absolute best is we... Put Cyborg right there. Move Flash between Wonder Woman and Aquaman right there uh, by the poster that has Steppenwolf above. We do a, the Steppenwolf statue right there. You know, I can uh, make some wiggle room, uh, even move some of the Loki Scepter if I need to, uh, to put Steppenwolf there. I think he'll look really, really good right there. Uh, and then have the entire league. And the entire league would end about right here, you know, cause we'd move Wonder Woman over and I might be able to fit Shazam in there. Probably not. Uh, we'll see, I need to see how big his base is and everything. I might even be able to put him down low, but I definitely want to have Steppenwolf here just cause he's the only one that interacted with the league. Technically Darkseid just looked at them. He didn't actually fight them or Steppenwolf was fighting them the whole movie. So I want Steppenwolf to be the main one with in the league if I keep them together, uh, if I don't intertwine the infinity bus. So I, I, I wanna, I'm gonna try many options, trust me. You know, like Wonder Woman like this, we'd have the bus right here, she'd be scooted over. Flash, Wonder Woman, potentially Shazam, and then Wonder Woman bust, Infinity Superman, Infinity Batman. That's what I'm kind of thinking. And then Suicide Squad is right here. Now standing up, obviously not ideal. Here's the thing, I don't stand in this room. The moment I get in this room, I'm sitting in this uh, banana chair right here, and uh, I can see these guys actually freaking perfect. Let me actually just show you my angle. 
So when I'm sitting down, that's my angle. Uh, so I can see it real good. And I got tons of space for Margot Robbie bust. And I think she'll look amazing right there, but I might have so much extra space that I could just fit Shazam down here. Uh, I don't, I need to get her in hands. I need to get, you know, at least one infinity bus so I can have an idea of their base size in my display. You know, I saw the Batman in person, but I still need to see it in my display. But um, I know the Harley Quinn will fit there easily. I may have extra space though to do something else. Like if I needed to put Shazam down there, because Shazam technically doesn't have to be part of the league because we didn't see him in the movies with the league. We saw a teaser with Superman uh, in his movie, but we didn't see him in Justice League. So I think he can just be a little uh, side character as well. You know, I even thought I could just get a glass shelf right there. You know, one of my typical glass shelves, even have it same height as this and throw Shazam on top and then do uh, something underneath. Uh, then we question dark side. That's the thing. I could also technically do dark side right there as well. Uh, his base is 20 inches wide. Those glass shelves are 16. But if I had him slightly going on to that, I might be able to make it work. Uh, I can easily fit one of those perfectly on a glass shelf, but their bases are a little bit bigger. So I'll figure it out when the time does come. Now there's definitely a lot of things you gotta work with. I feel like a display is constantly changing until you get it perfect. And then sometimes even when you do get it perfect, there's different variants of that perfection. You know, I'm always changing my collection because I wanna see what looks best. And I'm getting to the point where I feel like I'm really getting it to its best view. Uh, I do love the look of the league all in this back wall. I think it looks really sick, but I definitely want to do Steppenwolf there, you know, and then move Flash right in between there. I know it actually matched that poster perfectly with Cyborg next to Batman, Superman middle, and then Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Flash. I think it'll look real good. And then of course, we'll have Wonder Woman bust next to Wonder Woman, and then Superman middle, Batman right there, and then Dark Side, maybe Shazam down low. I think I can probably fit it all. So I'm actually building a shelf right here. I, I removed the one shelf here. <clears throat> uh, and I'll show you guys tomorrow what I did with that old shelf. Uh, we did the Joker poster above, but I'm gonna have another one of those bigger shelves right there. It just goes directly to that white. And uh, that will allow me a few things. I'm gonna do Alita with Alita bust underneath. Alita bust is quite deep. And so I don't think she'll fit on the 18 inch deep shelf. I don't know, I need to get her in hands, but I do wanna prepare and have a deeper shelf plus I'll match this better. So I wanted to get the deeper shelf, the wider shelf for Infinity Studios, Joker, Joker one third, Mask. And if I potentially need space for Dark Side, I could potentially even do him on that shelf as well and just put Joker one third there. <clears throat> So I want to prep to have the additional space in this room because I need to keep all those statues in this room. So again, this is still Future Sean's problem. So, but I did want to help Future Sean a little bit by getting proper shelving that's wider, deeper. Uh, I know I can fit a glass shelf there. I'm not going to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. But, you know, I don't want to clutter the room. I've done some big decluttering in the main room. I'll show you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm just finishing it up. Don't want to show you it now. It's kind of cluttered right now because I got stuff in the middle of the room, uh, shelving and whatnot. But I'll show you tomorrow. It's going to surprise a lot of you. Uh, but it is definitely for the best. Only a few of my close friends have seen pictures and they all love it. They think it's a hundred times better. So be on the lookout for tomorrow's huge statue display update video. Uh, this one's just showing you this, uh, you know, superhero room. I uh, still testing a few things out, but I am liking how it looks. Anyways, folks, I am off to the gym, uh, and then later today I'll finish up the display of the main room, got to move some stuff around, and then I'll do another huge display update video for you guys tomorrow. We'll do some statue previews most likely this weekend, and then next week we should definitely be getting some uh, good statues in. You know, Nun, Lurts, Raptor 1-6, we got a lot of great stuff coming in, uh, most likely all next week. Anyways, folks, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.